Hey there, everybody. This is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Version. Last time we were here outside the Weather Institute fighting off Team Aqua, and now we're going to go wander around aimlessly. Sounds like a Let's Play video to me. Anyway, we find an elixir on the ground. Not that it really matters. Also, in case you're wondering, this is the area where you can catch Feebas. However, Feebas is a tricky little bastard. It, um, pardon my language, it... It hides, alright? There's only like one out of all these squares, or there's only like 28 out of all these squares leading all the way up here and down that will have a Feebas in it. What the hell? May? How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's why it's probably a good idea to heal up before you leave the Weather Institute, or else you'll have to fight May. And May's got a Pelipper. She's got a piece, a pock, a Pelipper. So, Pelipper's level 29, the evolved form of Wingle. But I think we've seen one before, I can't remember. I'm gonna go on with Gypsy. Yay, Gypsy. Damn that rain. Oh, you tricky one, you. So anyway, Pelipper is an avid user of a uh, bulking up system called, uh, what's the word for it? Stockpile. When you use stockpile, your defense and special defense go up, and you use stockpile one. And the more you stockpile, the higher your special defense and, you know, defense get. And then you can use spit up, which uh, shoots out all that you've stockpiled, doing a lot of damage if you've actually built up some. And, uh, or you can use uh, swallow, which will heal you in your HP or whatever. It's a weird style, so I don't use it, but, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't see what she said. Combuskin? No. I'm gonna stick it out on this one. This one side beam should do it. Dang, get some experience points. Lombre. Lombre. Water and... Grass. Yeah. So, what was I saying? I can't even remember. Ooh, fake out. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Sorry if my voice is a little odd today. I have, I don't know, there's something wrong with my throat. Whoa, I don't know. <coughs> but we gain a level, and that's all that matters. But I have absolutely nothing to worry about. Yeah, da 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 HM2. Yeah, we have to get the, the fly badge or whatever. I'm sure we'll never see her again. Who the? Wow, Scott, you just appeared out of nowhere. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. She was all upset, with face all red from anger. So you run off from Fortree. Maybe she's having her period, I don't know. That's not right. That's a that's a stereotype, and I'm, I'm not one for stereotypes. I mean, I am, but... That's just the wrong kind of stereotype. The kind that doesn't involve me. Anyway, flamethrower. And overheat. Frickin' howl. Taste overheat. Overheat will take you down, no problem. We're with these shirtless guitarists just sitting out in the rain somewhere with an electric guitar. What the hell? Like the ninja kid, I can kind of understand, but the shirtless guitarist? What the hell? Uh, overheat. I like to call super freaking effective and Vasu it's a pretty cool name something unseeable is in the way well we'll find out what that is next time on lit now so yeah we gotta fight more trainers as if we haven't fought enough already seems like that's all I've been doing is fighting trainers for the past four episodes Freaking poison. Who the hell uses poison this day and age? Oh yeah, that's right, I used coughing. Oh well. Coughing. Another one. It's cool, man. It's cool. I I I feel sorry for you and your lack of originality, even though coughing's like my favorite Pokemans. I love coughing. I love it. Loved it since ever just or since before Jesse and James. Uh, that's not true. They appeared in, like, what, the third episode? No, the, the second episode, I'm pretty sure. Might have been the 
No, I'm pretty sure it was the second. Or was it the first? I don't know. Don't know, don't care. Not wearing underwear. Or am I? Ha ha, wink wink. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. What in the hell is wrong with me? Anyway, here we are in Fortree City. Probably one of my favorite cities in the game. And like a normal human being, I'm gonna buy me some super pot no. No, we've we've moved up in ranks. We're not we're not having super potions no more. I'm going with hyper potions. And uh, maybe s let's get some great balls. And now we're broke. All right, so here we are in Fortree City. This guy's got a Game Boy Advance. There are Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. You're crazy. City consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of the lifestyle, everybody's healthy and free. I don't know. You've grown 30 years younger. So yeah, they got a lot of stuff going on in this town. Uh, no, I don't have a full beat. Full beat's a bug flying type. It's the opposite of, um, that other bug flying type. I can't remember their names for some reason. Full beat and, uh, right. Left. Oh, no, no. It's right, and then right, and then left. There we go, TM10, hidden power. I'm probably not going to teach it to anybody, but yeah. No, that is a move learner. He will teach your Pokemon Sleep Talk, which is kind of useless. Unless you have a Snorlax. Oh, what's going on here? Something unseeable, that's weird. Hey look, it's the Devon guy. Gigantic Pokemon. I was at a volcano, how did you know? So it seems like we can't go to the gym right now, which is kind of a bummer. It's kind of what I wanted to do, you know, just gym it up. So in that item, or in that shop we just entered, that building. Oh man. Can't freaking breathe. Anyway, in that building, there are um, two shops that will sell you items for your house. Or for your secret base. I like to call it a house for some reason. Because I'm weird like that. Rosalia. Roselia, whatever you call it. Flamethrower. It's the best move in this game. Just looks awesome. Whalmer. We'll switch it up a bit. We'll use Kid Ace. Kid Ace has been pretty low on experience lately. All she needs to do is wang attack. What? Not even Kid Ace's wang attack is enough to take care of these Pokemon. Ah, oh, I feel sick. So anyway, we cut down these trees one by one because we're awesome like that. We found a rare candy. Rare candy. Cheating at Pokemon since the first day. What the hell? What with all these something unseeables? It's kind of irritating. Ooh. Trainers. Just what I love to know. More trainers. Love to see. Sorry. Magneton and freaking... That other Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, surf? Surf. Ow. Ow. Flamethrower! I win. That's all I need in this game is flamethrower. And they were never heard from again. Uh, no interview. I'm good. I like to stay out of the paparazzi's limelight. Ooh, a bird keeper. It's got a Swablu. That flying piece of crap. No, Swablu's not that bad. It's not the best flying type, but it does evolve into a pretty cool type or pretty cool Pokemon, even though it's still pretty useless. Oh look, it's Steven! Charles, hi, it's been a while. There's something here you can't see, right? Now if I were to use the device on the invisible obstacle, no no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. This should be more fun. I guess. Devon scope. What the hell is that? Oh my god. And here we are face to face with the Kecleon. Yeah, Kecleon is... Yeah, I, I think I've explained him before, but... Yeah, you can catch him at level 30 here. I don't really care for Kecleon, to be honest. 
Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about killing that one, though, because there's plenty of chances to catch them, because there's a bunch of them. Like, over here where that item was. But I'll get that later. Jesus Christ, we're already at ten minutes in. Ooh, a Mighty Enna. I don't see those in the wild too often. Aha. Uh -huh. Overheat. And you're dead. Well, I guess since I'm already friggin' ten minutes into this. Jesus. More Kecleons. Overheat. Oh crap, now he's a fire type. Body slam him. And they didn't stand a chance. Level 36. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I probably should have caught, or caught that one, but what are you going to do? Nest Ball. That was not worth it at all. Haha. <laughs> See? Nest Ball wasn't worth it at all. I think the reason why I like this town is because they have the freaking... The little bridges here. It's pretty cool. Bug Pokemon come in through the windows. That's got to be a problem. All right, let's heal up my Pokemans. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, I already got them all. All right, that looks like it's about it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon. Or actually, let me get rid of this uh, Kecleon first. Oh, it just hid. All right, so join me back next time when we take on the next gym, the sixth gym, I believe, run by Winoa. Yeah, not Winoa Ryder. That would just be weird. Anyway, this has been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.